My name's Nate, and this is Heavy Pedal Garage. Today's video is going to be relatively straightforward, but we're going to be putting something that's really cool into the car. It's a Memphis Hideaway head unit, and this runs off of an app on your phone. So this is going to be really cool. I did not want to cut into my dash to put in an aftermarket radio. So we're just going to run this thing, and I'm going to show you how we're going to mock it up and uh, hopefully get some tunes playing through this thing and see how it actually works. So as far as the head unit goes, you've got your harness connector here, which it comes with the supplied uh, into that. You can also choose to use your output connectors this way, but I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And in the instructions, it's got a nice little diagram here. So 12 volt ignition, it's gonna go to a switched power. There's a source on the fuse box that I'm gonna use. Black to ground, we'll put a good ground right there next to the unit. Blue is a remote turn on for like a power antenna or a power amp. We're not gonna use this blue, so I'll heat shrink the end of that. And then your yellow is for constant battery power. And then the other side of your plug setup here, these are all speakers, so those are all pretty clearly labeled. And uh, we'll just get that going and then we can hook it up. So we're gonna do some wiring now and uh, keep on driving towards some tunes. All right, here we go, all hooked up. So my harness here has my speaker wires in it and the speaker wires basically come off. The rear ones are gonna follow that path up to the wire tray and then all the way back where the harness location goes into the trunk and then over to my speakers. The front speakers comes off of the harness here and around and it'll go up under the center console and I'm gonna have my speakers up front so coming off of the plug there, I've got my power wires, full-time constant power, and my switched source. The switch source tells the radio when to turn on. Okay, so that comes up through, and then I'm just gonna have a plastic wire loom. Everything will be above the carpet, so I don't have to cut in my carpet. I don't think that'll be real noticeable. And then the power wires come along this wire tray, and then the constant for the battery goes out through that grommet where I have my vintage air wiring set up. And then the switched goes up to the fuse box to the ignition side so that I have that switch source there. Now I did originally hook up my constant power to the bat part of the fuse box. But what was really weird is every time I would rev up the car, the radio would turn off. So some kind of modulation there. So I just ended up taking power straight to the battery, nice and neat. So again, coming off, following that power wire, my ground wire goes there as well. And I've got a nice solid ground under this wire tray where I can access it if I need to. Just take that wire tray cover off and it's all there. The wires that I did not use are gonna be the red and white RCA type jacks for output speaker output those won't be used this is your usb charging port i'm not sure if i'm going to use this you've got antenna which i probably will run an antenna wire this is your line in so if you have an auxiliary that you want to plug in there it's like a you know a headphone jack and uh, this is for your subwoofer. I won't be using those. And then down here, this is for LED lights. You can actually control those with the app. I don't know if I'm gonna do that, but that will be accessible as well. If we ever wanna run some kind of lighting, LEDs or whatnot. The last component of this harness that I did not mention is the controller. So this is the controller wire and, and it's gonna run up underneath the center console. And then the little hand controller is going to go right here. And I'm going to make a plate that fits in there nice and neat so I don't have to cut this up. And uh, this will fit right into that plate. And then up here, I'm also 
going to save some room for some switches so we could mount this phone holder right here and it really wouldn't look too bad. Be a nice place to put the phone. But the other thing I was kind of thinking about is down in here, put some USB charging ports so that when you connect the wire to charge your phone, it's kind of tucked down in there and you could even lay your phone down there. Or if you put it in a holder right here, you know, you wouldn't have a bunch of wires all hanging all over the place. So as far as a mounting location, I got the mocking up the console here and there's actually a space right in between the shifter and where this back box is going to slide in. And that unit fits perfectly right down in there. So that might be an ideal location. And then, you know, the USB, the line in, the red, green, blue LED connection, all of that will be accessible um, if I need it. I can run it, you know, into this box for line in and, you know, have some nice little ports set up inside that box if I want. What do you think, guys? You want to give this thing a test run? Let's do it. Ooh, check out those nice lights. Your indicators light up here, so you got some simple controls, forward, reverse for your songs, skip, I guess I should say, your power, play, pause, and then this is your volume selector. Pretty basic, pretty simple. So as far as the app is concerned, you can download the app from pretty much any app store. Got this little icon here, we'll bring it open. One of the things I love about it is that it is so simple. Bluetooth, FM, AM, auxiliary, and weather. And you've got your volume here, forward, play, reverse. You can use the volume on your phone, works just fine. So we're going to select Bluetooth, and then you can go to your phone apps. We've got Pandora here, and you can play along with that. I'm not going to do that for copyright reasons, but it also works with the YouTube. So yeah, here's one of my YouTube videos where I was working on the hood. Sounds pretty good. So as I mentioned, you can use the volume on your phone. That's all the way down. You can use your volume over here, all the way down. So yeah guys, I mean that's one of the things that I really like about this is it's just super simple. So we've got some other features going on here. You have a settings function. And you can see here, you've got volume fade, you have equalizer settings, Bluetooth, just allows you to pick what you want to connect to. Here's where you would control your lights if you had LEDs hooked up. And uh, that's pretty much it. Really, really simple stuff. So we'll see how this thing holds up in the long run. Like I said, I really like how simple it is. It was not hard to hook up at all. The instructions were great, easy to follow. So, you know, I got these Rockford Fosgate speakers. They're not the most expensive. They're not the cheapest either. I just wanted something to have some tunes in the car. But you're going to want to stick around because in the next video, we're going to go ahead and set up this package tray. And then really the prime thing is, is we're going to work this center console over and we're going to put speakers into that console, do some real custom fabrication on it. And that'll end up getting covered in vinyl as well. So stick around for the next ones. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. Hit the like button. That helps those algorithms. Send some more people my way. And you know what? Catch me next time.